so next topic is the numerical on belt tension we have learned the tensioning analysis of tensions on flat and v belt now we are going to see the so this is the numerical which uh, we are going to solve right now at the layout of the leather belt drive transmitting 50 kilo 15 kilowatt power is here 15 kilowatt okay it's shown in figure this is the figure here center distance is known to us that two times of d we need to find it out the belt should operate at a velocity of 20 meter per second okay and the stress in the belt should not exceed 2.25 times newton per mm square so the density of leather is 0.95 g per cc and the coefficient of friction is 0 0.35 the thickness of the belt is 5 mm so the diameter of pulley we need to find out the length and width of the pulley, uh, belt and the belt tensions we need to find out we already have all the formulas to solve any numerical just, just write down all the formulas on one page and even the terms and condition so here we note down all the details even stresses and coefficient of friction all these things then the first step is what we need to find out the diameter of pulley for that v is equal to pi dn by 16 to power 3 with this help we have v we have n and pi and all these things are constant we can find out the diameter so the small d is known to us now okay and 265.20 take the round figure value as 270 based on this we can find out the capital d also the diameter of pulley is what in terms of the speed and diameter ratio we can find out so capital d is equal to 270 into one 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 double four zero that means the rpm of smaller pulley divided by the rpm of the bigger pulley we get 810 mm so the belt length is what c that is two times of d it is given so the center distance it is given us that is 16 20 mm now the length is what we have the formula that is 2 c plus pi capital d plus small d by 2 we put the values all and we get the exact length is 4981.46 mm now belt width and belt tension we need to find out for that we need the correct velocity and correct because we have changed the diameter here from 265.26 to 270 mm so even with this the velocity will changes that's why we find out the correct velocity and we get 20.36 meter per second based on that we are going to find out the wrap angle so we find out this wrap angle now so wrap angle we get here as 2.81 radian so the density of leather is given to us so based on that we can find out that volume is equal to length upon width upon thickness length width into thickness volume it's a multiplication sign the volume of one meter belt in cubic centimeter so don't don't consider this sign as a division it's a multiplication sign so 100 into b by 10 into 5 by 10 okay length is we have considered this width is in mm that's why so mass will be what 0 0.95 into this volume gram per meter so we just convert all these values and we find out so we get the value of m in terms of b width is not known to us or you can say the mv square is what this m into v square we get 1.97 times p the value of mv square we cause we have the formulas for belt tension is p1 minus mv square for that we have taken this now e raised to f alpha is equal to what e raised to f is what the coefficient of friction alpha is 2.81 which we get here okay so we get 2.67 here put the values of all these things in this formula that is this which we have already calculated in the previous video so put this formula we get a quadratic equation here just solve this equation the maximum stress in the belt should not exceed 2.25 newton per mm based on that stress is equal to load per unit area so p1 is the maximum stress sigma into a p1 is equal to sigma into a we get this value put the value of p1 here in the equation first so p1 minus p2 is equal to what thousand into power upon velocity 
तो 736.74 न्यूटन भी गेट ही है सो सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन वन टू एंड थ्री ऑल दिस थिंग्स यू विल गेट बी पी वन एंड पी टू सो इन दिस वे यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द न्यूमरिकल ओके आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पार्ट थैंक यू